question number 82 which of the following terms describe the human dentition now human dentition just like other mammals it is thecodont that means the tooth is embedded inside the socket of the jawbone they erupt twice in life and that is why these teeth are called diphyodont and we have four different types of teeth that is incisors canines premolars and molars so that is heterodont and this particular option contains all of these three terms so our correct answer is option 2 so let's move on with the next question 83 now question 83 identify the vertebrate group of animals characterized by crop and gizzard in its digestive system now these two extra structures are characteristic in the digestive system of birds where in the case of crop there the food is temporarily stored and softened and in the gizzard it is pulverized so here our correct answer is the group aves and option 4 is our choicest answer so let's move ahead with the next question that would be 84 now question number 84 which one of these animals is not a homeotherm now homeotherms are warm blooded animals that means which will maintain a constant body temperature irrespective to the external environmental temperature now homeothermy is a characteristic of mammals and birds so here we have macropus that is kangaroo chelone which is turtle that's a reptile and that is cold blooded or a ploicotherm cetacula this is parrot a bird camelus camel that is again a mammal so here the odd one out is chelone that is turtle and that makes the answer as option 2 now let's move on with question number 85 now taking up the question number 85 which of the following features is used to identify a male cockroach from a female cockroach now there is very distinct sexual dimorphism between the male and female cockroach so what are the features that we can see presence of boat shaped sternum on the ninth abdominal segment now this is not true rather the female has a boat shaped sternum but that is in the eighth segment presence of caudal styles presence of anal sulcus and four wings with darker tegmina now in this case anal sulcus is common to both male and female but presence of caudal styles which are also called anal styles so the caudal styles or anal styles are attached to the ninth sternum and it is found only in case of males so that would be our correct answer so here option 2 is right so let's move on with the next question 86 